Okay. Um, uh, I guess this counts as a end time prophetic type dream. Um, but pretty much, um, this happened either year, maybe two years ago. I really don't remember, but it was like the first time I, I asked, um, God for a, um, I guess you call it like a spiritual progress report. But anyway, um, so that night I had, it was like a series of dreams. But anyway, so the first dream, I was on the red carpet, all that this red carpet event. There was a bunch of celebrities there. I don't know what it was, movie awards or what, but I was there. And, um, I was with my escort, which I don't know who this guy was, but in the dream, he's my escort. But um, anyway, so we were walking down the red carpet, and um, he started asking me questions about voodoo. And I don't know much about voodoo other than what I've read, which is pretty much what I told him. And um, so anyway, he was like, well, there's this guy I want you to meet, and um, he's just going to see what kind of spirit you have. So... I was like, you know, whatever. So, um, anyway, he took me to this back room, and there was like this, I don't know if he was African or Haitian, but a uh, dark-skinned man, he had, um, his face was painted, like, he had his whole, um, voodoo get-up on, and, like, he even had, like, this, this outrageous headdress, but, um, he had a bowl in his hand, and, like, um, he was mixing something, something white with, like, cocaine. And, um, anyway, so my escort, he went and stood in the corner, and, um, <clears throat> he just kind of watched, and I was still talking to my escort, and he was, like, ignoring me, but he was just watching, you know, what was about to go down, I guess, and, um, so while I was talking, like, my mouth was open, the voodoo man just, like, took the spoon, and he, um, had a, he, like, took the spoon and just, whoop, right into my mouth, and I was just like, <laughs> You know, and um, then I guess it ingested some of it, and I didn't know what the substance was, but it was revealed later in the dream. But anyway, so the voodoo man he was chanting the whole time, and like as he was chanting, like now his um his face, like face paint started to glow, and like his whole body pretty much like burst into flames. But it's like it started his face, and it just grew. The flames grew, and as it grew, he like pretty much transform into a um a lion and then he and I was laughing by this point. I was laughing, I was pointing at him and he was still chanting and I guess the laughing was making him mad or something because like he he jumped at me but he didn't like hit me anything and I just laughed even harder so his flames like grew and he was like whoa you know jumping back and like um my escort he um Kind of, he was leaning against the wall, but he kind of like stood straight up, you know, and he was like, his eyes, he was just like so, like, whoa. <laughs> and, um, so then the voodoo man, he jumped at me again, this time like full force, like as a, a lion. So he hit me. And when he hit me, like I was still laughing and I fell down and, um, he fell down too, but like his flames started to die. And I was, I was still laughing. <laughs> and, um, my escort, he was just like, like he was just, he looked like he was shaking. He was freaking out. So as the flame died, like, um, the voodoo man's body started to pretty much like shrivel up until it was only a head. And it was like, the head looked like, um, I don't know if you're a pygmy is, but kind of like that. And something like a, a weird, voodoo doll or something so it was just a head and the head was shrieking it was going like like that and i was like what do i do like trying to speak above the shrieking noise and the my escort he was like you gotta and i don't remember the exact terminology he used but whatever he had said i kind of figured it out in my head so i started going like this no not like that it's going like this <coughs> And, um, it was like, um, I was using, like, telekinesis or something, because as I was doing that, I wasn't touching him, I was just looking at his, the, the bottom of the head, and I was just going like this, and as I was doing that, like, his body started to come back, 
come out from the head, the shrieking head. So anyway, I did it. And as I was doing it, my escort ran out of the room. Like, he just floored it. He was gone. And, um, so I, I guess I telepathically pulled this guy's body back out of the shrieking head. So now there was him laying on the ground and he was like breathing heavy and there was like this, um, shrieking head. So I didn't know what to do with it <laughs> at first. I was just picked it up by the tuft of its hair and tossed it outside. So I came back to him and the guy was like, you still breathing heavy and stuff. And, um, I was like, are you okay? And I was looking at him like that. And I had said something like, um, you shouldn't be messing with, you know, you shouldn't be doing like voodoo and stuff like that, witchcraft, whatever. I had said, French kind of gave him like a little lecture about it. And he was just like, you have, um, two spirits. You have a spirit of violence and a spirit of protection. So yeah, there were these, um, there was these, uh, I did skip some of the dream, but it's cause, um, I felt like it, I'm not gonna say that other part, but anyway. Um, so, yeah, he said something about the spirit of violence, but I'm not going to say the rest of that. So, spirit protection, he was like, um, oh, a note, a note, um, I'm a big fan of dinosaurs, like, I really, really love dinosaurs, so, um, yeah, that's how, so that note right there ties into the stream. So, anyway, um, yeah, he said, you had, uh, these creatures, um, protecting you, he's like, a beast I've never seen before. And he was just like, dinosaurs. And that was, um, pretty much, yeah, that's when the dream, um, ended. And it was like someone just changed the channel, like, the dream just switched, just like that. So then it was, um, I wasn't in it just yet, but it was like this fair or a convention or something. And, um, I saw one of my coworkers there, and I'm just gonna call him the Johnny. And, um, the Johnny was at this booth. And he was arguing with a woman. She was like dressed in like a blue outfit, kind of like um a flight or a flight attendant outfit, kind of. And um, yes, yeah, so they were arguing back and forth. And he was like, "Absolutely not!" Like he was walking from the booth, and that's when I was um that's when I was coming into the dream or whatever. Or I was walking up to him, and I was like, "Yo, know, hey, did Johnny? What's going on?" And he was just mad, and I was like, and he was like um pretty much um. He was saying that there was, um, that, that lady at the booth, she was like a Nazi, pretty much. And, um, she was like, I guess the head of some sort of, uh, Nazi club that was gonna be, um, implemented into the school system. And he was like, he didn't want to take his kids to a school that, you know, was like pro Nazi and stuff. So, um, Right after that dream, like, it switched, and, um, it was like, I wasn't physically there, but I saw, like, it, it must have been Walmart, it had to have been Walmart, but, um, it was the interior of a store, and there was, um, two guys, I don't know who they were, but one was black and one was white, and they both did the Hitler salute, and, I mean, that was weird, and then the dream just switched to me and I was um I was down in this like um labyrinth of um like I don't know if you ever been to an underground mall but um it was like that. Like it wasn't like people were, you know, hiding from someone. They were just, you know, casually walking around in these um underground tunnels. And um <laughs> excuse me. So anyway, um I was in this Labyrinth, and I was like right by the bathroom section. So I was in, I was actually in the bathrooms, and I was like jumping out from the entrance of the bathroom out into the crowd, like trying to scare people for some strange reason. But anyway, so, um, that's when I noticed this one particular man. And I just knew like right off the bat, like that was Jesus. So I was like freaking out, and I was like, and I started following him. And, um, it was like, Okay, Jesus was, he was in disguise as Martin Luther King, but I didn't know that just yet. So, oh, I forgot to say what, um, that substance was in the bowl. But anyway, uh, the substance that was in the bowl, the white stuff, it wasn't cocaine. It was, um, crushed human skull. So.
So, yeah. Anyway, so, getting back to this other part of the dream. Um, so, yeah. I'm following Jesus, and, like, I started, um, telling people, I was like, Jesus is here, Jesus is here, you know, and so I had a huge crowd, they were like, you know, they started following me, and then Jesus stopped in, like, the corner, just in a random corner, and, um, he turned around, everything, and, like, he looked like Martin Luther King, but, and he was wearing, like, um, like a tux or something, um, he wasn't, like, anything flashy or anything like that, so, um, I was like, I showed him, I was like, look, it's Jesus. And the crowd kind of looked at him, and they were just like, no, <laughs> absolutely not. So then this other guy comes up, he's like, Jesus is here. So everyone else was like freaking out, like, oh, and they followed him. And, um, so like, mostly everyone left except like maybe a, a couple people. Like, it, it couldn't have been more than 10 people. <laughs> That were still looking at the the um the real Jesus because he like said he was in disguise as Martin Luther King or he thought he was in disguise. So the huge crowd um left and they went and saw these this other Jesus and he was like um the typical the typical looking Jesus like with long hair and um a white glowing robe and he was just going like this and everyone was just like oh Jesus. And he didn't say a word, this other Jesus. And he just, like, started walking, and everyone, like, almost everyone followed him. So it was just, like, me and a small group of people, and I was just kind of like, you know, like, you know, what the heck, you know? <laughs> like, um, like, you're the real Jesus. Why are they following that Jesus, kind of? And, um, <clears throat> and I think he had, I don't remember exactly the dialogue here, but, um, I think he had said, like, he, he said that he was in disguise, and I was like, what kind of disguise is that, you know, because I was like, it's so obvious, like, look at you, I mean, come on, couldn't think of something better, but, um, yeah, so, the dream switched, like, right after that, to, um, <clears throat> I don't even think this was Earth, but, and the reason I said that is because, like, it's just, the vibe wasn't earthly, let's put it that way. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I was in this, uh, uh, I guess like a garden or a, a jungle or something, and like Jesus was there. And this time, I don't think he was in the sky. But, uh, really didn't see Jesus directly, but it was like he told me and my brother to go find this root. And I, don't, I can't remember if it was a Xander root or Xanthar root or whatever. It started with either Z or X or something like that. And, but anyway, so he, he was like, I need you to find this root. I was like, okay. So me and my brother headed off to find this root. And um, I guess we had, we had to have been looking for a while. And so anyway, we came back and he's like, did you find, um, did you find what I told you to look for? And I was like, no. And he was like, what did I tell you to look for? <laughs> and my brother's about to say, and I, he was like, nope. <laughs> and then I, <laughs> then he was like, you forgot, didn't you? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> he was like, um, I don't remember the, the dialogue here either, <laughs> the exact dialogue, but pretty much he was like, I told you to find this route so that you can find yourself and know yourself or something to that effect. And I had said something stupid like, did I, I mean, do I know myself? <laughs> and um, he says, um, he says something like, you know who you are. And I don't remember the rest of the dialogue. Uh, but <laughs> um, yeah, so that was the end of that dream. But then I had a follow-up dream like recently. And um, I guess I'll um, post on another video. So yeah, that was the that was the end of that. I guess yeah. So anyway, um, have a good night, day, whatever. Bye bye.